What is going on guys, Noah Brewer here, back again with another video, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to actually run ads on Facebook after your personal profile gets restricted, your Facebook page gets restricted, ad account restricted, or business manager restricted. So I figured out a way that has allowed me to run Facebook ads this year while being completely restricted on my personal profile. This means that I'm pretty sure I have the highest level ban possible, like personal ad accounts, pages, like literally everything that touches my profile just gets restricted restricted to the max so I can't run Facebook ads in a normal way. While this is annoying and I know that a lot of you people are in the same seat, uh, it's not impossible to run Facebook ads and there is a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And a lot of people are basically just you know buying accounts, farmed accounts, whatever, and just buying ad accounts and just running ads that way. And while this can work temporarily, it's not really a long-term solution. So what I'm gonna be giving you today will allow you to run Facebook ads pretty much seamlessly, like as seamlessly as you possibly could. For example, if you were to get banned tomorrow, you could be up and running within a day or two uh, with a new ad account or a new profile, anything along those lines. Now, of course, there will be a PDF guide to go along with this video that I will be releasing in my Discord. So the link will be in the description. If you want to go download that PDF and have a written version of this video so that you can go look at it quicker, it will be in my actual Discord. So you can go check that out in the video. So assuming that your personal page, your Facebook pages, your business manager, and your ad account is all restricted, what can you actually do from this point? Well, there's a few different solutions that you can go and one of the more popular and more known solutions is actually buying your way out of the restriction. There's different agencies and different freelancers that offer this service. It's not 100% clear how they actually do it, but they're usually known as Facebook insiders or people that have backend access to the Facebook platform that you know basically claim to be able to flick a button and get you unbanned. Depending on the situation and what you're trying to get restricted and who you're working with, this can run you anywhere from $1,000 to up to $5,000 depending on the situation. If it's your page, your ad account, and your profile, you could be spending one to 2K on each of those things just to get it up and running. Now, while this is a decent option, if you're actually scaling something and your ad account or your profile is actually worth that money to you just to get it back without needing to jump through hoops to get running on Facebook again or needing to start from scratch, um, it is very risky and unreliable. A lot of people out there claim to have access to be able to unrestrict you, but honestly, in my experience, you know, having actually paid some of these people and been scammed and been lied to many times, a lot of them are just straight cap. They say that they can do these things and then when it comes down to it, uh, they actually can't and there's always delays and there's always some bullshit excuse. Um, essentially, when they talk to you, they'll promise you the world. Usually, they'll just DM you and be like, hey, uh, I can get pages unrestricted, yada, yada, and and then they'll have some obscene prices and then you work with them and basically cross your fingers, hope that they're not scamming you and hope that they actually work out. And there are people out there that can actually do this successfully, but you just have to be careful. And if you're just testing products or if you're just doing a couple thousand dollars a day in sales, it's very hard to justify, in my opinion, spending you know $2,000 to get your page back. Now, a better option, in my opinion, is to actually structure your entire setup in a way that allows you to quickly switch out assets once one gets banned. And that's what we're gonna be discussing in this video. So this is not something that will fix your current ad account or fix your current profile, but this is a way that you can restructure your whole Facebook ad setup uh, to be a little bit more indestructible for the future. So if you get banned in the future, you can easily just switch some things uh, like Facebook pages or profiles or ad accounts or whatever um, and just get back up and running. Now, one of the key things that I utilize to actually use this setup and this structure is agency ad accounts. And there's a few things that I learned that basically gave me the idea to actually test out this structure and one of them is that agency ad accounts very rarely get banned when you get an agency ad account usually it's hosted by a agency business manager um, and all the other ad accounts under that business manager are also running so it's very diversified and very rarely will you have an ad account just straight up get banned now if you just created an ad account on your own then the chances of it getting banned for suspicious activity or you know some bullshit reason are fairly high but these agency ad accounts are pretty bulletproof and unless you're running something that's blatantly against the policy or just stupid then they mostly don't get banned 
The next key thing that you need to understand is that the owners of these agency ad accounts that are assigning them to you can actually remove it from your BM and put it in at basically a moment's notice. They have control over where the ad account actually is, no matter what happens to your profile or your page. So even if you get restricted, they can remove the ad account out of your profile. So if you take these two ideas and mix them, you can put together a structure that is pretty damn bulletproof. So there are two key points in this strategy that basically allow you to seamlessly run ads uh, with very, very low risk of getting banned. Um, you still can get banned, but even if you did, uh, we have safety nets in place so that you can replace whatever gets banned very, very fast. Number one is having managing profiles, and number two is having hosting profiles. A lot of people get these two mixed up and they have to be completely separate in order for this structure to work properly. A managing profile is basically just a Facebook profile that you're actually using to manage your ads. This profile hosts the BM that is hosting the ad account and it also hosts the Facebook page that you're gonna be running ads from. Um, the only purpose of this account is to essentially just manage ads and host the page. It does not host any ad accounts and it's better if you don't have any ad accounts under this personal profile other than the ones that are given to you by the hosting account. And if you are in that situation where your managing profile has no other ad accounts other than the one that is given to you, then your chances of getting banned are drastically lower. Now, the best way that I have personally found managing profiles is actually reaching out to my personal network, like old friends, family, whatever, um, and offering them like 100 to $200 a month for, for the ability for me to use their Facebook profiles in order to run ads. Now, they have no risk of getting their personal profiles banned, so it's not very risky on their end and they can earn a little bit of a side income while I'm running ads through their profiles. One extra thing that I do is I will actually manage my ads through a Zoom call via remote control um, through their computer. So I personally never have to go onto my computer and actually log into their Facebook profile. They essentially just hop on a Zoom call, share their screen and give me remote access and I can manage my own ads through their computer on a Zoom call. So when it comes to IB, IP addresses and suspicious logins, uh, we don't have to worry about that because we're doing it all through their computer like it's actually them doing it, which again drastically lowers the chance of the ad account getting banned for suspicious activity or any other bullshit reason like that. Now, a hosting profile is a profile that actually hosts the ad account that the managing profile is going to run ads on. So ideally, a hosting profile is an agency that can assign you an agency ad account, but it doesn't have to be. You can have a managing profile and then you can have a hosting profile that's just a normal uh, Facebook profile. So essentially, you can just pay to people but in my experience it's just way better to have the hosting profile be an agency that can assign you an ad account um, and this profile if you are doing it the way where you're not working with an agency and you're doing it with another person the profile that's hosting the ad account it's very important that they're not creating ads not publishing anything not hosting any pages you know the only thing that they're doing is hosting the ad account and that's it and like I said before the best and only hosting accounts that I would recommend using if you want to be as bulletproof as possible are agency business centers that can assign you with an agency ad account because the risk of you getting that ad account banned are much, much lower with an agency profile than it is with a regular ad account. So once you get your managing profile ready to go and you also get your connection to whoever you're using for agency ad accounts, all you need to do now is set it up. Basically, you have to create a business manager under the managing profile, have the agency ad account added to the business manager of the managing profile, and then create your page on the managing profile and start running your ads through the managing profile. And like I said before, I usually do all the work inside of the managing profile on a Zoom call with remote control. Obviously, when you're paying them their one to $200 a month or whatever you choose to pay them, you're gonna wanna negotiate this and get permission for this upfront uh, when you're explaining to them why you need their profile and what you're trying to do. Like I said, there's very little risk on their end in terms of getting banned or anything like that. It's more just so that you can diversify, separate your hosting profile from the managing profile. And the reason that we do this is because if we lose the ad account, we can essentially have the agency ad account manager assign you a new ad account. It's very, 
very simple. And if you lose the managing profile or the managing page, like if your uh, ads get disapproved or if your page gets restricted, or let's say the personal profile gets restricted, then your agency ad account manager can pull the agency ad account away from that BM and then add it to another managing profile. Um, that way you can just ditch the managing profile that got banned and start running with the same ad account uh, on a new managing profile right away. So this turnover can happen literally in the same day if you and your team are all on the same page about what is going on. So I hope that this structure makes sense. Like I said, make sure to get the PDF in the Discord um, because it breaks it all down like really neatly. Um, so if you're having trouble uh, internalizing this, it might help you a little bit. So with this structure, we're not actually avoiding bans. What we're doing is drastically lowering our chances of getting banned, um, essentially by doing things like separating the managing profile from the hosting profile and also using the managing profiles on Zoom calls, right? They're real profiles. You're not doing suspicious login attempts. You know, it, we're just drastically lowering our chances of getting auto flagged. And then if we do get banned, we're structuring it in a way so that we can very quickly get it back up and running. And uh, this is how I was able to run Facebook ads this year. Um, and it worked out very, very well. Of course, there were a few hiccups and this is gonna be a whole learning curve on its own. But I promise you that once you get a structure like this set up, you will be able to run Facebook ads for yourself. And in the situation where you get banned, you'll get up and running again fairly quickly. Now, I know that if you're a beginner and you haven't been in this space for a while, this seems like a lot of work and a lot of effort to run some damn ads, right? Like we are the ones paying Facebook. Why don't they want our money? I don't know how the hell it got to this point where I'm now paying, you know, random people to use their Facebook profiles and, and also paying a, a percent of my ad spend for agency ad accounts. Like it's just very, very crazy that now in order for me just to run Facebook ads, I literally have to get on a zoom call with a random person and, you know, do my ads through their computer. It's very very, very foreign. But for those of you who are experienced, I highly recommend this strategy as I was able to launch some pretty sexy campaigns and make some pretty nice profits this year uh, using this exact structure. And anytime I got banned, I just you know swapped out the ad account, swapped out the profiles, anything like that. And it was a simple solution. So God bless you if you're still running Facebook ads in 2022 after you're getting banned. And I hope that this video could shed some light on you know my strategies for actually running Facebook ads after getting banned. And I hope it's valuable to you. If you like this video, leave a like and leave a subscribe for the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see it. But that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, get the PDF in the description if you want to read over the strategy in the PDF. This is Noah Brewer and I'm out. Peace.